Ho sana makosha brahadi subra katene masataya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title of this prophetic word says, You are unpredictable. And this is causing so much pain. You are unpredictable. You know, they just found out this about you and they really cannot understand. There are people who will do anything to be in the position you are. Don't get me wrong. Two categories of people. The first categories of people are people who I said will do anything to get to where you are, to be in the position that you are in. So they begin to want to do things negatively. And sometimes most of these people who start being negative about you with not from the beginning negative. Sometimes some of the people who start to become very jealous of you were not in the beginning jealous of you. Yeah. They just merely let themselves to be used by the devil. And that is how they became that jealous. Most of the people you notice who became jealous of you, some of them used to love you from the beginning. Some of them used to like you from the beginning. Some of them used to admire you from the beginning. But in their pursuit, in their pursuit to become like you, in their pursuit to get into your position, in their pursuit to want to do a lot of things that you are doing, they became jealous because competition entered their hearts. One of the things you must learn to do with yourself is positive competition and not negative competition. And positive competition mostly talks about your personal self. Positive competition mostly talks about you. The one person you must be competitive with and about against should be yourself. You should be competitive with yourself that is becoming a better person for tomorrow and not being and remaining on one position. I want to be a better me. I want my life to be transformed. I want my life to change. So I want to look at myself and say, Ethel, tomorrow you should do better. I tell you a little story about myself. I started a little business about how many years back? About... Uh, about seven years back, or was it five years back? That was, I started that business, I think that was 2017, 2016 or so. Now, when I started that particular business, I was very accountable to myself. I had my book, I had my pen. So whenever I sell something, I would write it down. So people walk into my shop and they ask me, you are the owner of this particular shop. How come everything you sell, you write it down? I tell them, I'm just a worker. I'm the owner, but under the owner, I'm a worker. That's the mentality I had in mind. And that particular mentality saved me a great deal, helped me in a very big way. So what happened was, I'll come, I would write what I sell and Weekends, I calculate it. When I calculate it, I give myself my allowance based on how much I sell. So some weeks I tell myself, Ethel, you did not sell well today. And, and Sorry, you did not sell well in this particular week. So I'm going to reduce your allowance. Next week, please do better. And get, I'm speaking to myself when I'm doing that. Not like somebody you're thinking like, oh, is she talking to me? I'm, I'm writing and I'm talking to myself. I remove my allowance and I say, I put it on the table. I said, take, this is your allowance. That's me. I can be dramatic, yeah. 
it helped me to work harder. And myself was my best competition. And then that business later on went international. I'm telling you, yourself should be your best competition. Now, why is this prophetic word coming? And I say, there are people who do anything to be in your position in the positive way. They will serve. They will be willing to learn until they get to your position. And by the time they are getting to your position, God has already promoted and graduated you to another position. But you become their motivation and their inspiration. Why is this prophetic word coming? Somebody is so jealous of you. And then they want to bring you down, but you are, unpre you are unpredictable. They, they will do anything to bring you down, but you are unpredictable. They want to bring you down, but you are unpredictable. That is one thing about life. What people don't know, it becomes very difficult for them to find. The moment some people get into your space, the moment you let them know some things about you, they will fight you easily. They will fight you. That is why, you see, I've noticed one thing about rich people. Their, their associations are very small. They rarely even do associate. And the ones who associate, they associate with intelligent and also people of their class and more than them. You know why? Because before they can associate with that little circle, they have trusted the one person, the two people there. When you have a lot of people around you, you never might know. Normally, even rich people do betray rich people. But it would have been more if it's just a normal person. Am I saying that you should not associate with normal people? Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying that well, that is my observation from the class of the rich. You must know what you say and what to not say. God wants to elevate you. They will do everything to spoil your life. They will do everything to attack you and bring you down. You only grow up. You will never come down in the name of Jesus. What did I say? You will only grow up. You will never come down in the name of Jesus. G-R-O-W. You will only grow up. You will never come down. Somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, I will only grow up. Say, I will never come down. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, I would beg on you to please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord who led you to pray for me. Please do not forget to like. Don't forget to share. Subscribe. Welcome to the family if you just subscribe. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, give you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.